a documentary on the murder and the dismemberment of Marcos Matsunaga by his wife, Elisa Matsunaga. The trial became a national sensation and this four-part docuseries examines the evidence and the trial of Eliza Matsunaka. As with all docuseries, what appears to be the case is not the case upon further examination. Is this Brazilian crime documentary worth the watch? And what is the life lesson we can learn from this one? Let's find out. This Eliza Matsunaga documentary does make me think, and I did find it rather interesting. However, my one complaint is that this documentary maybe be two one-hour episodes instead of four one-hour episodes. This documentary is a Brazilian documentary. That in itself made it very interesting to see how the Brazilian legal system works, what kind of things they do that we do not do here, believe me. And possibly the inherent biases within their system. I'm like, ooh, that sounds really biased. And I'm sure it's vice versa here if they saw us as well. There was a great example of this I found really fascinating that was really interesting. They make the person being prosecuted go and reenact the crime. They bring cameras. In this case, they may have a dummy body that she has to drag around. And now what did you do? Blah, blah, blah. And then I'm your husband now. What did he say? What do I do? And you slap me, but they make you reenact it. And I just don't know if I would like have to do that. That sounds quite traumatizing to have to do. But I can't get the point of it. It kind of like, well, let's see what happened. Let's get the best picture of what happened as we can by you reenacting it for us in the same apartment. As poor huge, like always, dubbing could have been better in this. However, it's a documentary, so the dubbing didn't affect it as much. It's not like it's a drama and I need to feel the emotions of the characters much. I can see what's going on, on the screen. And with that, it made the dubbing meet. Okay. They do a very thorough job of showing the defendant side and the prosecu prosecutor side. They do a very good job at showing both sides, both sides of the story. If you're like me, you will form an opinion of what you think should happen because it's happening while the trial is occurring. It's happening right then. You don't know the outcome. Don't know. So you want to know too, they don't know either at the time. So it's just moving forward like that. And believe you me, I had an opinion by the end of this documentary. The life lesson I got from this one was the importance of knowing when to walk away, when you're emotionally too upset, when it's not a good time to negotiate, or an argument with a loved one's getting so heated that something horrible is going to happen, i.e. murder them. So there's that theme. It's very important to know when to walk away. That's one gift that I learned from a marriage therapist that helped us so much in my relationship personally, is being aware when you or the other person have reached a point where words are coming out of your mouth and your little executive part of your brain's thinking, I don't know why I said that, that's kind of weird. It's kind of, ooh, I just was really insulting to her and now she's been insulting to me. And we were arguing about A, but now we've brought in B, C, D in the past and you know, all of a sudden it gets all crazy. That's when it's time to say, you know what? I need a break. I need some time to calm down. We can bring, mention to talk about this tomorrow. And more often than not, that's enough to be able to resolve it later. Or sometimes you find out you were just irritated and you were in the mood to argue. You don't want to stay in that fight so long and have to be right and get so emotionally worked up that you end up doing something that really affects you for the rest of your life. Like in this case, knowing when to take a break. And that's what I learned from this one. A big part of this documentary is them looking at the case and trying to decide, was it planned or was it a passionate act of passion? Because if it was planned, then the consequences are going to be much larger. If it's an act of passion, then the court takes that consideration as, you know what? Sometimes we stick in the fight too long where it's a very emotional thing. I mean, what happened is an emotional thing. I can see why she lost it. So then they take that consideration and say, well, then your punishment's not as big. So the big part of this documentary is looking at that. What is really cool about this documentary, like I said before, we get to see it play out in real time. We don't know what to expect. And you're going to form an opinion about what you think should be or not be. I enjoyed this documentary. I do recommend it. But like I said, I would like if it were two episodes instead of four episodes. It could have condensed it quite a bit and gotten to the point. And that's why I'm giving the 2021 docuseries, Eliza Matsunaga, Once Upon a Crime, a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. But hey, you don't have to stop watching our videos now. There's some others right up there. Some other uh, documentary stuff I bet you can find on my channel. Or you can pick a video right here. 